So a good architect wants a good client. And we certainly gave Grafton a very complicated brief. We needed a library, which is traditionally the symbolic heart of a university. But what is a library in a digital age? We wanted state-of-the-art studios for our dance students. We wanted to put that in a library, no less. We wanted an excuse for students, many of whom commute, to stay on campus, for them to learn from each other informally. We wanted to send a statement to the Borough of Kingston that we have been here for over a century. We are proud to be here. We're an important part of the borough. And we wanted to soften what can be a very imposing threshold between the university and the town, between town and gown, and invite the community in to their university. Uh, I am in awe um, of this wonderful building. I do think that uh, it is uh, through exchanges and contacts of uh, different countries, civilizations, and, 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 and certainly students of, of different uh, walks of, of, of life and university that we can progress as humanity. And, and this is an important step, and what you've built here is a forum to make that happen. This was the chosen place, and, and what happens here that can be a message to all European architects and beyond if they want to listen. European architecture today is and has to be for everyone. It has to be generous, open and inclusive. And here, at the same time, monumental in its proportion and in its atmosphere. People need to spend time in spaces that nourish their spirit. We have discovered that Kingston University is an institution that wants change, is a client with the bravery to blur boundaries, is a university with an open hand. Education is a generous phenomenon. It's open to all and it's inclusive. This university understood the ambition of this building in its embryonic state to express what it wanted the new building to be, contemporary, open, where students of different disciplines and interests with different dreams from one another could overlap so that they could witness the progress of their colleagues, that they could share and learn from, be affected by and enjoy the company of others. It's 9,000 square meters, the building, but the intention was that it would feel like one space. And what we felt was that when we read the brief, we realized that there was something special in here in terms of a social idea, an educational idea, and the role of architecture within that. And we realized we would have to step back, step back a little and find an open framework within which an idea might grow. And to do as little as possible in order to make architecture more present as a loose enclosure. And we called this a warehouse of ideas.